Hi, my name is Simone. I'm the Zen Mommy, and today I want to continue my series on talking about psychic abilities, and this psychic ability is called a knowing. What is a knowing? A knowing is kind of like a download of information where all of a sudden you just know something is going to happen. You just know something is right. You just know something is true. And it's hard to explain it to a person who's never actually experienced it. Because from the outside looking in, you're going to think that person that just, you're just thinking that. You don't know what you're talking about, right? But to you, it comes in this way where you just like, like you've been enlightened with knowledge into your brain and you just know, okay? And I remember I started getting knowings um, after my awakening. And one of the first knowings I got, um, let me think, I got, I had a few knowings, but I would know something like right before it happens, like, okay, so this person, uh, so this person asked me, um, so I had a knowing, right? <laughs> okay, so this was the knowing. The knowing was somebody was going to ask me to be in a relationship with them. I all of a sudden just, all of a sudden it was just like, ding, I'm like, and I told someone, I said, they're gonna ask me to be in a relationship with them, right? And I I just knew it, right? It just, it, I just knew, like, it was like all of a sudden I was on this frequency of like knowing. And, you know, the next day or so, this person asked me to be in a relationship with them and they, but here's the thing with knowings. <laughs> kind of like the vision thing that I talked about. You can get a vision and it doesn't necessarily mean exactly that. So the knowing was this person asked me to be in a relationship, right? But when the person asked me, they asked me to be in an open relationship with them and multiple people. And at that point, I was just like, okay, yeah, my knowing was right, but no. <laughs> and so it, it happens, it comes like this download of information. And you know, you, you, you absolutely know. And, but the thing with knowings and visions, like although they can help you and guide you, is never get too attached to them, okay? And because the thing is, also, like, a strong attachment to something can also change it, right? You can change it. It could go to a different timeline. So another knowing that I got once, um, I was speaking to my mentor, Naya, from the Ice Corner of the Universe. And she, I remember I was hanging out with her. We were driving in the car. And all of a sudden, I got to know it. It was like, ding! I was like, Naya, I'm getting married. <laughs> Mind you, at this time, I wasn't dating, nothing like that. And I was like, I'm getting married. And, she, and I said, I just, I said, I just got a knowing. I don't know how. And let me tell you, from what I've been through in my life, I thought marriage, love, by my soul. I thought, I, I was trying to manifest, I thought it was very far off. But this knowing, like I knew I was going to be a wife. I knew, like it was so sure, like, you know, I had went through years of wondering, was this going to happen? You know, I've been looking for my soulmate since I was a little girl. And I was just like, is this gonna... but that moment, I knew it to the point where I could feel it, you know. And Naya really got upset with me. <laughs> she was like, don't. Her thing was, don't attach to it, blah, blah, blah. Don't, because she did that, because she... You know, and, and I get where she was coming from, like, because if you get too, like, clingy and attached to an idea, vision, and knowing, you can actually shift the outcome of it because you are too attached to it. You want it too bad. And then law of attraction will naturally push away something that you were wanting, you're, you're negatively yearning for. And so I said, no, Naya, I told her, calm down, okay? I said... I said, let me tell you about this knowing, okay? This knowing made me happy because I'm finally gonna get myself to a vibration of self-love where I'm actually gonna manifest my soulmate and be married to them. And I said, I'm, 
I said, I'm not, I'm not worried about when, how, or I'm not forcing it or anything, but I was just happy because I was struggling, you know, for a long time with self-love and it was hard for me to, to see, you know, when you don't love yourself, it's hard for you to see a good person, a good soul, the one for you. You know, if you don't love yourself, you're likely to ignore red flags, make up excuses, accept treatment that you shouldn't be accepting, thinking something is normal when it's absolutely not. And I just remember feeling really content with feeling, it's, I'm actually gonna be successful at this, you know, as far as my self-love journey. But like she said, I took heed to what she said. I didn't attach to it negatively. And, you know, and guess what? Let's see. In less than a month, I met my husband <laughs> after that. And so, you know, it happened, okay? So I wanted to talk about knowings because a knowing will come to you at a specific time. You just know it's right. You just know this is going to happen. You just know tomorrow is the day you get something or something. So that whatever the knowing that comes to you, okay? Uh, so remember, like with knowings and visions, don't negatively attach, okay? Don't negatively yearn for it. I don't know. I feel like, I feel like a knowing is a kind of gift because it feels so, it's different than like a vision or anything else that comes to you. It comes to you like from somewhere else. I can't explain it. And it gets downloaded into your mind as if you know this for sure. And you just know what's happening. And it's it's an amazing psychic ability. And I would say, like, embrace it. When it does come and you know something, just embrace it. Because it's very beautiful. Like, knowing, it was, it's a very beautiful experience knowing something. Even if, you know, it doesn't turn out exactly how you thought it might have. The fact that you felt like you knew, it just really makes you feel connected. Like, it just, it's just... It's just an amazing feeling. And, well, you know, this is a short video and I don't have a lot more to say about that. I kind of just wanted to share that. And given my last two videos have been kind of long, let's just keep this one short right now. <laughs> um, anything else, if there's anything else you want to ask about it or want me to expound upon, just go ahead and leave it in the comments. Thank you for watching. Don't forget to sign up for my email list. And... Um, you guys have a great day.